Sometimes is it child? How do you call me child? Because that's what you are. I think of you softly from time to time, but I'd rather cut off my hand than reach for you ever again. Abby, no. There's no time for that. Hello. I didn't see you over there. I was too busy admiring my wonderful landscape. Because I have a lot of land. I'm John Proctor. How are you doing today? That is great. Great to hear. But enough about you. Time to talk about me. Well, I'm John Proctor. I was born in Ipswich, Massachusetts in 1632. I was part of a family of established farmers. We have plenty of land and lots of farms. I moved to Salem Village in 1666. I worked on the largest farm in the area. It was called Groton. If you ever have the chance, I highly recommend visiting there. Beautiful land up there. Anyways, by the time of the witch trials in 1692, I was, I was an established man. I was, I was doing well for myself. Um, what else is there to say? At 60 years of age, I was, I was referred to as a man of Herculean frame, which means I was very strong. I still am, so it's great that people refer to me as that. That's quite an accomplishment indeed. Proctor was tried on August 5th and hanged on the 19th. While in prison on July 23rd, Proctor wrote a letter to the clergy of Boston, who were known to be uneasy with the witchcraft proceedings. In his letter, he asked them to intervene to either have the trials moved to Boston or have new judges appointed. Proctor pleaded at his execution for a little respite of time. He claimed he was not fit to die. His plea was, of course, unsuccessful. Proctor's family was giving 150 pounds in 1711 for his execution and his wife's imprisonment.